Hi, my name is Kate Wolf. I'm owner of Wolf Tools and workshops at Wolf Designs in Portland, Maine. And this week I have the amazingly wonderful pleasure of being at Creative Side Jewelry Academy in Austin, Texas. I love teaching here. The staff is amazing and competent and helpful and friendly and all that good stuff. I want to show you how to lay out a pattern on wax, how to prep the sheet of wax first and how to transfer a pattern. So to start out, when you get a sheet of wax, it often has some saw marks on it. So we want to prep it. One of my very favorite discoveries of all time is sheetrock drywall screen. What's nice about this is it doesn't clog up. I used to go through a piece of sandpaper a day, but with this, all the wax dust falls through the holes and you can just shake it out and reuse this. I can use one sheet of sandpaper for six months or more. When I go to prep this, I'm going to use a figure eight motion and that helps distribute the weight and you get a more even surface. And what you're looking for is to get all the big saw marks out. And that looks pretty good. Next, I'm going to get a razor blade. This is a single edge razor blade. If I start scraping with it the way it comes, I might get little stripes from the corner of the razor blade. So what I'm going to do, this is a diamond plate, or you could use a sharpening stone or a piece of sandpaper. And I'm just going to round the corners of the razor blade just a tiny bit. Now, when I go to scrape with this, I'm not gonna get stripes from the corners of the razor blade. For some reason, the razor blade seems to cut better on one side versus the other, and that's the good side. I keep changing my angle of approach until I get a nice smooth surface. So now to prep the wax, I'm going to get a china marker this is a waxy grease pencil, and I'm going to put a thick coating of China marker on my wax. Try to get it even and thick. Here's my pattern that I want to transfer. On the back of the pattern, I will use a 6B pencil. The reason I'm using a 6B pencil is that it's very soft graphite, and it makes it easy to get a very thick coating of graphite on the back of my pattern. Before I transfer this, I'm going to hold this up to the light and see if my graphite totally covers behind the pattern and I, it wasn't, so I'm going to extend it out a little bit further. So now I need to attach the pattern to the wax. I'm going to get a hot wax pen and I have to hold the paper down so it doesn't pull up, but I'm going to poke the pen through the paper into the wax and the wax just bubbled up through that hole and that's going to make the, the paper secure to the wax and it won't shift around. I do three holes and my three holes are outside of the pattern and you're going to see in a minute why. I'm going to get the number one scribe. All of the Wolf Precision Wax Carving Tools are color coded. They have different colors of bands that, that will help you see from a distance which tool you're grabbing. So that way you can just quickly get the tool you want. So this is a scribe and I'm going to go over all of my lines and I'll, I'll have a pretty heavy hand. And what this is doing is it's transferring the graphite onto the china marker. Now before I take my pattern off, the reason I've tacked it in three places, I'm going to pick up one contact point and peek underneath and make sure I've transferred the entire pattern. If I haven't, I can put the paper back down and continue tracing. Everything looks pretty good, so I'm going to lift this up. Now, I couldn't work off of this because in no time, this graphite will smear right off the china marker. So what I'm going to do is go over all of my lines and make them, I'm going to scribe with the, the scribe through the surface of the wax, nice and deep. And this is where I can sort of correct anything that looks a little bit lumpy. And what I'm looking for is that economy of gesture. I have my tool at the right angle to get these two curves. So I'm going to go ahead and do all those curves on all five petals. So now I'm going to use a brush marker. This is a magic marker that has a flexible tip. If I use this just the way it comes, it's not going to work right. 
the, the ink will bead up on the surface of the wax and it won't fill in the lines. So what I'm going to do to prep the marker is I'm going to wipe the marker across a bar of soap and that breaks the surface tension and it makes the ink stick to the surface of the wax. And that way I'm using this marker with a flexible brush tip because I can sort of scrub the ink down into the groove that I just cut with the scribe. Don't overdo it with the soap because you'll gum up the brush marker and it won't work. Now I'm going to go back to the razor blade and I'm going to scrape off the excess china marker and the excess ink. So you can see now we have a beautiful crisp drawing to work off. 